Hello and welcome to this short film on how to play the easy version of uh, Chariots of Fire on the guitar. Uh, with this version you're not going to hear the, the proper tune, you're just going to be playing a few notes here and there, but it'll get you started. And if you are a little bit unsure on how to read temperature, uh, this will be a very good uh, start on that as well. Have a look at the music and you will see that it is tablature. And tablature consists of six lines, which are the strings of your guitar. Uh, the top section of tablature, I've labelled the strings from the top to the bottom. Uh, e, B, G, D, A and E. And I think in this uh, easy version, you're only playing the E string and the B string. So if you remember that, that will really help you. So, at the top of the page you can see the title of the tune, Char Chariots of Fire. This was the theme tune to the film Chariots of Fire, which came out in 1981. Uh, written by a Greek composer, Vangelis, all on electronic uh, instruments and recorded on electronic instruments. Uh, which at the time was quite groundbreaking, not so much these days of course. Um, it says easy tablature and it says a wait 40 seconds for introduction. It's a great log introduction. So plenty of time for you to get settled before you actually start playing anything. Obviously it says acoustic guitar, but you could easily play an electric guitar as well if you wanted. Um, so looking left to right on the tablature, you've got the names of the strings as I mentioned. Then you've got TAB, tab, tablature. Then you've got a thick line, a thin line and two dots. This is a repeat code that we'll deal, deal with a bit later on. Then it says four over four. Lots of information, isn't there? Now this is the time signature, so you're going to be counting in fours. It's always the top number that's the most important, and as it's a four on top, you're counting in fours. There are four beats in each bar. In that first bar, the first actual thing you see is a little block sitting on the line, uh, and I've put a, a little label on that saying it's a two beat, or minim if you like, rest. So the first bar got one, two, and you come in actually on beat three. Now the first note you play is first fret, of the little E string, okay, and that's held for two beats. And then in the next bar, you go up to the third fret of the same string, use your third finger, and that's held for four beats. Remember, this isn't the full tune. Imagine um, the tune is going da 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 da. You're playing da 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 da. Goes three times this. Da, 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 da. Then it changes. Da, 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 da. So what you've got there, instead of the full tune, you're just playing a couple of notes. First fret of the E, third fret of the E. And as I said, use your first finger behind the first fret, third finger behind the third fret. Um, so that's your first bit. So in counting it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Same again. Then you have a whole bar's rest, a four beat rest there, or semi brief rest if you like. Then we travel up the guitar and we come down seven, five, three, and then seven, which is held for four beats, then a bar's rest. Seven, five, three, one, and then one B. Same again. Da 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 And at that point, we have reached the repeat code. Um, you can see you've got two little dots a thin line and a thick line, and that's facing the other way. Um, if you look at the beginning, you see it's, they're kind of musical brackets. So when you reach that point, you then start again, go all the way down to that point again, and then you carry on. This is kind of the end section. So same as the beginning, isn't it? La, 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 la. First fret of the B string there. La, 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 la. Change here goes eighth fret, third fret. Same again. And then to 
spin as you go. One E, one B. One E, one B. One E, one B. One E, one B. And there's one more of those. La, 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 la. Now, as we always say with these easy versions, uh, they're good fun to play uh, if you're playing along with the track, which I'll do in a moment, or you're playing along with me. Uh, but obviously it's not the full tune, so you need the other lesson if you want to learn to play the full tune. Let's play a little bit of the track. We've got this long introduction in here, starting to come in now. And I've slowed this down, so I'm saying 40 seconds is probably a good bit longer with this actually, as I've slowed the track down a bit. Let's see how long it takes to get to it. Up to 24, 25 seconds. It's going to be a good deal longer than 40 seconds, isn't it? It's going to be about 46 seconds. Here we go. B. Same again. Very slow. And then one A and one B again. Four beat rest. And then we go up to seven. Seven. Same again. And then you start again. And once you've got the hang of that, I would urge you to uh, practice it along with the track that I will provide on the, on the website as well. That you'll have an audio track that you can play along with at this speed. So I reckon that's nice and easy, nice and straightforward. And as I say, if you've struggled with tablature in the past, this is a really good way to get into it and to understand it. So if you get okay with this version, uh, like I say, go on to the other video, which deals with the advanced version of the tune, where you hear the full melody.